This week we're looking at the great gobstopper question. You know, I really like gobstoppers. They're a small hard candy that comes in all sorts of colors and lasts a long time. Also, they're a pretty good buy. Only a dollar for seven ounces. That's about 14 cents an ounce. Pretty good deal. Then one day, I discovered a new box on my store's shelf. A little more eye-catching, and the purple is nice. And still, a dollar. Uh-oh. When I picked the box up, I realized that it was smaller than my normal box. Only six ounces. What a rip-off. That's 16 cents, well, really 17 cents, 16 and two-thirds. 17 cents an ounce. Don't you just hate it when the manufacturers change the package sizes like this? Ah, uh, but I beat them. I found my old box, seven ounces and all, at a different store. Oops! They want $1.29 for it. That's a 29% increase over my previous price. Still on my quest for a good buy, I found a mega box at another store. Ten ounces for $1.79. Maybe this is the one. So here's my question. Which of these three boxes is the better buy? A dollar for six ounces, dollar twenty nine for seven ounces, or dollar seventy nine for ten ounces? Since I'm a teacher, I have to watch my pennies, so I'm looking at this from purely a dollar and cents perspective. This is your work for today. Make sure you can mathematically justify which box you recommend. Stop by and let me know which one I should buy.